Hi everyone, this is going to be a review on the Bicycle Carnival Elite playing cards. These cards are available at bmpokerworld.com in the link in the description. This carnival deck is very different than a lot of other big blind media carnival decks. The main thing that I noticed that was different is that there are actually no skulls on this deck. And if you look at the other carnival decks, they are um, usually have skulls on them. So that was a big change for this deck. So let's look here at the box. In red it says Bicycle Carnival Elite Playing Cards and there is an artistically designed spade in the middle. And along the sides there is a design all around the box like that. There's a look at the bottom. And the back shows the back design. When you open the flap it says completing the circle of awesome. These are the cards. So here's the back design. Again, there are no skulls on it. It has a black border and a lot of design there. From far away, you can't really see a lot of the detail. When you look up close, you can really see the artwork. The deck has a Big Blind Media ad card. And it also comes with this Seven of Clubs from a Red Rider back deck. And when you get the deck and when you first open it, the Seven of Clubs comes right in the middle, face down, like that. So, if you have this brand new deck, you can maybe even use this as a trick where when you open the deck, it'll have that card right there in the middle or something like that. And you, I'm pretty sure that magicians can come up with a way to incorporate this card into a trick. These are the Jokers. It's a bird-like creature. It says Joker in the middle there. And if you look closely, you can see a light-colored detail on the bird. Here are the Aces. All four of them have a large pip in the middle with added design to it. I think it kind of adds to that elite feel of the deck. The court cards are fairly standard, but the coloration is what's different here. It has a black border and then lighter coloration for the actual picture. I think that really makes it pop because it contrasts so well. The spot cards have standard pips, but they have a white outline around them. And they also have a light colored design inside of the pip. Another thing is that the spades and the clubs have gray pips for the spot cards, but the court cards have black pips for the spades and the clubs. Of course, like with any deck that has black edges, chipping will occur after some time. And unfortunately, that's just something that comes with owning a black deck. There's no way around um, having the edges not chip unless you just do not use the deck at all. That doesn't necessarily affect the handling, however. The handling of this deck is pretty good. The stock feels about average. It's not too soft, not too heavy of a stock. And all that I could find or doing my research for this deck is that it had an air cushion finish. So usually with the amount of ink on this deck and that finish, over time the cards can start to clump with all this ink that's on them. And although I have noticed some clumping, it hasn't been too severe because the cards have retained most of their smoothness so far. Pharaohs with this deck are excellent. These cards are really fun to spring. And the cuts, for the most part, stay together. And finally, here's a giant fan. So that's it for the Carnival Elite playing cards. I think it was a good change to see a carnival deck without skulls on it. And the overall handling is good, especially considering how much ink is on these cards. That's my review on the Bicycle Carnival Elite playing cards. You can get this deck at bmpokerworld.com in the link in the description. Thanks for watching.